calculating income tax. This is the part that I think can be confusing, and this is why I think this is the part that it is most important for us to learn in this class. Okay, um, so by understanding um, how income taxes are computed, I think that you can better understand whether or not changes to a tax law are better for you or worse for you or, or whether they impact you at all, okay? Um, I, I think they can also, by understanding this, we can also help dispel some common misconceptions about, about taxes, okay? So we just want you to be informed. That's the goal here. So let's, let's take a look at this. All right. Um, federal income tax is a progressive tax. That means that as you make more and more money, the tax, it's taxed at a higher percentage, okay? So if I have a what's called a flat tax, suppose tax was just 4%, okay? If you make $10,000 and you're taxed at 4% and you make $100,000 and you're taxed at 4%, obviously the person who makes more money is going to pay more in taxes. But both of you paid the same 4%. For federal income tax, this progressive tax, you pay different rates as you make more money. Okay, so the, the, the percentage goes up. All right, the way that it goes up though is everyone, whether you're making $10,000 or whether you're making millions of dollars, your first chunk of money is taxed at 10%. Okay, and I only put two categories here, the single and married. Let's just talk about single for a moment. So for everyone who's single, your first $9,950 is taxed at 10%, no matter who you are. Okay. The money that you make past that is taxed at 12% up to $40,525, right? And then after that, it's taxed at 22%, right? And, and so on. Okay, so let me show you. I think it's probably best to look at this as an example. Okay, so let's suppose that we have a single individual with a taxable income of $52,000. So we're skipping all the adjustments and deductions and stuff and just saying, okay, Let's look at this taxable income of $52,000, compute the amount of income tax, okay? So what I want to notice here is that $52,000 falls into this 22% bracket, right? That's in between my $40,000 and my $86,000, okay? The way that I like to think of it is this $52,000 that we made during the year, what we're going to do is we're going to dump that money into some buckets. We have our 10% bucket. We have our 12% bucket, and then we have our 22% bucket. And we didn't make enough to go higher, so we don't need to label all the other buckets. Those are going to be empty. Okay. So what we do is we pour our money into this 10% bucket until it's full. This bucket holds up to $9,950. So $9,950 of our income goes into this 10% bucket. Now it's full, so we start dumping into the 12% bucket. Okay. This goes up to 40,525, but it doesn't start at zero. So I can't dump $40,000 into it, right? I'm, I'm dumping the money starting with $9,951. Okay. So if it can hold up to 40,525, but the first 9,950 is already accounted for in this 10% bucket, then I can subtract those. So I'm going to take 40,000 525 minus 9,950, and that gives me how much money I can hold in, in this 12% bucket. So $30,575 of my money is taxed at this 12% rate. Okay, so this is how much is taxed at each of, of these rates. Now, this final 22% bucket goes up to $86,375, but I didn't make that much money, so I don't need to use that number for anything. Okay? What we want to do is just put all of our remaining money into here. Okay? And since we've already accounted for $40,525 of our income, it's only the money past that, or the difference between what we made and that $4,525, that gets thrown into this bucket. So what we're going to do is we're going to take our, our income, $52,000, and subtract the $40,525. Okay. 
So we get $11,475 that gets taxed at that 22% rate. Okay. So one of the things to keep in mind here is even though this person is in the 22% tax bracket, most of their money is getting taxed at 12%, okay? not 22. Most of it's at 12, some of it's at 10, and some of it's at 22. Okay. All right, so now let's compute the amount of tax. So the tax is going to be just a percentage of that amount of money. So in the 10% bucket, I'm taxing at 10%. So we take 10% of $9,950 and we get $995. Okay. In the 12%, we're taxing at 12%. So I take 12% of this amount of money, $30,575. And we get $3,669. And then finally, the 22% bucket, we take 22% of the amount of money that's in there, the 11,475. Okay, and we get $2,524.50. And for our purposes, we're going to leave the pennies on there. When you're filing for taxes, uh, things often get rounded. However, when you're filing for taxes, um, they, they do a lot of this computation for you. Okay, so then our tax owed, our computed tax, is seventy nine ninety five plus thirty six sixty nine plus twenty five twenty four fifty. So we get $7,180.50. Okay. One of the things that I want you to notice, okay, I'll just bring up my calculator for this. If I look at how much money is in the 10% bracket, oops, too many zeros, plus how much money is in the 12% bracket, plus how much money is in the 22% bracket, I get exactly this person's taxable income, okay? The idea is that we took this 52,000 and we broke it up into three pieces. All right, so that, that I think, I don't know, if you, if you understand that, then maybe it makes this whole process a little bit less confusing. Like I said, I think this part that we're doing right now is the most confusing part of, of, of the uh, income taxes.